Okay. The batcher, uh, we talked a little bit about the load screen. The batching screen is also uh, very important. Usually, uh, operator, the batch man, it will open both of these uh, every morning when he starts up the software. Here, there's already uh, some some orders and some jobs that need need to be loaded for today. Um, we're kind of running uh, late shift here. We have some loads for um, some jobs for nine, nine fifteen, and nine forty-five today. These are small, fairly small orders: twenty yards, eight yards, and twelve yards. Um, so let's uh, to show you the batching screen. Um, let's create a load and try to batch it. But before that, I'll just show you that this this is your cement and fly ash inventory okay so I haven't been keeping up to date on that but let's uh, when you, you can click on this and when your uh, when your load of cement comes in you can uh, just receive an amount give it an invoice save changes okay same goes for fly ash this is how uh, an inventory action is done. All right, let's say we got two two loads. Enter it in pounds. All right, sixty nine tons of cement in our silo. Uh, Here's a, this is the pending load line. This is the current load line. There's some status messages. These are uh, buttons uh, increase or decrease the rate. Uh, when there's no load going on, you can just uh, wash out a truck with 300 gallons or whatever. That's a configurable parameter. Beep the horn. Let the guy know everything's good. He can pull out. Uh, dry up is for... Um, if you happen to goof up and make a load too wet and uh, it's a, like a single load order the guy ordered seven yards and it's a little too wet you can this will throw in a half yard or a yard and um, without any water to dry it up pause and this allows you to skip the tail water again if you're concerned about the load load being too wet anytime during the load if you click this it'll bypass the tail water All right here you see the desired target and the actuals these are your weight your way scale widgets it also shows you the flow rate some other stuff here's your conveyor red is or the green is showing that the conveyor is turned on all right well let's let's batch a load here real quick so um the way to again the way to create a load is to uh, either drag this on here or you can click it and then you have a few seconds to click the appropriate job okay I missed it there and that will create create an order let's just do a, a little uh, two yarder so let's, let's do a four yarder here uh, recalculate save now this shows up um, as long as the batch is open when you created a load you'll see it here on uh, the pending so we can either uh, double click loading we can drag it to loading or we can just hit the start button over here alright let's see what happens okay it uh, wants you to double check here four yard load of our 2500 no fly ash mix for automation logic truck 102 all right, sounds good. Let's batch it. Okay, now the the current batching load is highlighted in the light blue here. As you can see, your targets have weighed up. Everything seems to hit all the targets good. Immediately discharged because that's how we have it configured. Here's our flow rates. If we wanted to increase that, we could hit that. Okay, wanted to pause. I don't think we got her paused in time till all the material was out. Let's resume. Closing the gates. Let's add in the tail water. Okay. 
Now here's where uh, if you wanted to manually add some water you could and it would still show up on the search. So let's just say um, we, we had scaled back the water and we still had many gallons. We could go into the into the um, virtual manual panel just click on here add a few gallons and then when we hit OK it it captures that alright that was the tone saying the load is over and on the load screen you see that the, the truck was advanced to, to load now these can be automatically advanced by the driver with with our Android app uh, on a smartphone or um, by texting a two-letter code like uh, TJ or OJ P O W A T P to to a certain uh, to a certain um, phone number and these will automatically advance. All right. One thing I forgot to mention is this here is the at plant time. Based on certain settings with the dra travel time, the the size of the load, and given a certain uh, number of minutes to unload per yard, it's expected that this truck will be back in an hour and 11 minutes. Okay. Um, that's about it for the batch screen. There's a few other things. Uh, available like to uh, click here and to reassign certain materials to equipment let's say if we needed to take out this P rock and put in some uh, maybe some lava rock for a lightweight or some colored stuff or an exposed aggregate mix we could do that alright well that that's the basics of the batcher screen thanks for watching